our topic is success in olympics and role of a higher education institutions in the country first of all i would like to explain what is success in olympics what does it cost what does it contribute and what does it constitute olympic success is a systematic and scientific approach for preparing sportsmen enabling them to win respectable the number of medals in olympic games or displaying incredible performance in competition which are like war like situations to the fullest of one's potential this is what the success in olympic then how we can achieve achieve this success the educational institutions which are nurseries and factories of talent <clears throat> in university sports education plays an important role in the development of integrated personality of an of a youth who is a sportsman including his body mind and spirit the holistic development it is required to cultivate the sense of science in his approach then it shows that evolution in training can bring revolution in your performance so you need to design your program in such a way that keeping in mind that the genetic endowment of your athletes and providing them conducive environment of competition and play and designing a target which is realistic in approach and achievable it shows then talent should be trainable and training should be variable it should be in a varying condition and target should be sustainable so these three things are to be kept in mind while we are promoting a sports culture at the grassroots level as you know the olympic medalist is identified at the grassroots level he is his talent is identified at the grassroots level it means if he is genetically rich then second thing comes then the youth should be trained he should face a test of fire during the training and to achieve the target so university age group is from 18 to 25 which is the best age to transform one's potential and performance there are three angles of university sports which should be kept in mind while designing our program one is commercial angle commercial angle means providing each and everything to the athlete on the field he should not face constraints of commercial sport second is professional sport his program should be monitored by the professionally qualified and competent people to achieve the target the last one is scientific science will deal with because science is a soul of the sport without blending science two sports you cannot achieve success why india is uh, uh, lacking a little bit because previously sports was not based on scientific approach and a uh, uh, and professional sport to the athletes now the new education policy is there that uh, sport should be integral part of the education now to develop an athlete and an youth so he can serve the country in a better way <clears throat> a, a talent and training should be tested in youth olympics and the world uni university games if you select train and project youth 
for participation in Olympic uh, Olympic Games directly without participating in World University Games and Olymp Youth Olympics, then there will be a lot of huge degree of difficulty and our athletes will not be in a position to cope up with the stress created by this gap. Now, what is happening in India from school, uh, school games and the university games directly you participate in Olympics because the degree of difficulty should be increased gradually. If we do not prepare our system to participate in World University Games, which is next to Olympic, equally tough, and uh, that requires a talented and tactical training. So that should be also a focus of our uh, attention. University sports is recognized as a lifeline and nerve center of uh, uh, podium finish performance in, in, of a nation in World University Games as well as in Olympics. If you neglect university sports, then you will not be having a properly trained athletes to be projected in Olympics. So this, uh, this should be taken very seriously. For example, in America, NCAA, National uh, Collegiate Athletic Association, that prepares the athlete, that identifies the athlete, prepares them to perform well in World University Games. Here, their training as well as their uh, uh, talent is tested. So this is uh, uh, what they call the CAA, uh, CAA, NCAA training is a test of fire that makes the fine steel. And in competition, they test the fear of the athlete, they remove the fear, and they prepare the player. So they, they prepare the Olympians in the university sector. Full-fledged athletes are given to their national stream to participate. Here in India, what is happening, we directly participate in Olympic, neglecting World University Games and this one, <coughs> uh, Youth Olympics. So this platform should be fully focused, fully trained, uh, uh, and taken care of. The, <clears throat> now we have, uh, I want to congratulate the government of India for uh, uh, organizing Halo India uh, University Games and the uh, Halo India Youth Games. Because there is a lot of potential in India, but that needs to be tapped, trained, projected, and evaluated. For that, we need a lot of uh, monitoring system with uh, high degree of autonomy and accountability. Our national sports federations, including AIU, UGC, there should be a lot of uh, autonomy, autonomous uh, structure to work, and there should be accountability of the job if they are not performing well. If uh, government of India can do this, uh, I do hope that there will be a, a lesser gap between the sporting nations and nation, nationally represented athletes from India. So, in global trends, what we are watching today, in today's extremely competitive sporting environment, elite athletes and specialized trainers are in the midst of uh, a revolution of high high rising expectation now you can see those who are representing in india uh, representing india in uh, olympics uh, there is a high rise of revolution of expectation from the people that they should perform to the best of their ability and they are fired with the ambition for projecting the best ever trained and talented uh, people to be projected in Olympic Games. So this is what is, it comes from school, grassroots sports, university sports, then it comes a finally national sports. These, uh, now what we are missing, university sports should be taken very seriously with the pointed focus of a talent uh, training and target setting. So <clears throat> Kelo India Games, uh, uh, Focus is to broad-based sports, achieve excellence at international level, 
that is culture nurture infrastructure and structure if we combine these things culture sporting culture should be there in the school level nurture we should nurture the talent which we receive from the school or uh, panchayat level whatever the competition you participate uh, you participate at the village level then we should create a lot of infrastructure a world class infrastructure for the training of our talented youth those who are studying in the university then we should have a structure it is like making a film sports promotion is like making a film for which we need producer actor director and spectator similarly the coaches trainers directors sports scientists and service providers health providers that is government of india and public private partnership alone government of india cannot uh, provide this much of uh, expenditure if you see in america our uh, uh, nba national basketball association of india they design their program which is a, a saleable they develop their action plan which is a thrilling and they deliver the results which are very charming and inspiring so this is a design develop and deliver so we should have the services of a marketing expert so that they can design as you can have the example of cricket in india you see the designing of their program development of their action plan by the experts and the delivery of result it means they have <clears throat> they have glamorized the world of sports of cricket that's why as a result it has been revolutionized in the form of performance that can be done in a university sports also so the medal of a olympic reflects the merit of a sports system of a particular nation if we win a lot of medals in this olympic game you will see that they are reflecting the working system or merit of our uh, sports system in the in, in india that includes the ioa national sports federations run by <coughs> government of india school games federation of india aiu sai and everything if, if they combine heads and hearts and hands i do hope that uh, we can make our presence felt the other thing <clears throat> the science is a soul of the sport science is a soul of the sport that's why if if we blend science with sports then it will be a sure success because most prominent performance of an athlete is a interaction or interplay between your mind body and your spirit your muscles how your mind controls your muscles and makes you face <clears throat> then other part during the training we need to enable our athletes how to manage their stress no The, there will be a very big problem for all athletes in the world during the olympic games these will be a war like situations in war you face uh, stress from two things one is the new situation the other one is opponent or you can say that the dig higher degree of competition and its performance so stress is our own creation how we act react and perceive action reaction and perception so there should, we need a lot of help and support from sport scientists with indian teams in olympic games so this is uh, uh, there is a similarity between a soldier and a sportsman more sweat in the peace less you bleed in the war this was uh, said by a very great uh, uh, politician or a great commander hitler he never allowed his uh, soldiers to sit idle he 
give them that more you sweat in the peace you work hard and you will be bleeding less in the war war is a competition so this is <clears throat> there are two tests one is in training the other is in the tournament the training test is test of fire that makes the fine steel hard training vigorous training skill uh, skillful training scientific training and uh, in a professional manner training the other test is the test of fear now we were discussing the competition itself creates a fear if you test yourself you stand to your nerves and you can manage your stress then success is there so sports should be based on your cardiovascular efficiency which is a scientific approach the other is a neuromuscular activation then holistic development of an athlete after doing all these things if you present your player if you project your player in olympic at least they can make their presence felt so this is the other thing which uh, we should keep in mind uh, drug abuse in sporting excellence today drug abuse is not confined to commercial and professional sports it has penetrated to the school university college and university level we should take care of our youth because uh, there are so many side effects of doping on the human health and performance we should take care of then coping uh, with doping should be our policy we should not allow either we should educate our athletes or punish them whatever the reason whatever the uh, policy decides we should not allow that uh, uh, our trainable youth and uh, attainable youth should go waste because it will be a liability to the nation so sports is a process is life uh, uh, vibrant life philosophy and a lifestyle which makes the people active healthy and productive youth should not be uh, a liability to the nation rather they should be visibility of the nation in olympics world university games or youth olympics these competition three competition should be pointed uh, uh, with our attention and we should keep uh, 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 keep everything in mind how to prepare your preparation will decide the level of your performance if preparation is good then i think performance will be there and other thing the demographic dividend uh, in the university sports we are having a lot of youth those who are uh, studying in the uh, uh, universities and college and they are pursuing their academic excellence now the new education policy is giving us a provision to uh, <clears throat> equate uh, academic excellence with the sporting excellence if we take these things side by side uh, on the same level academically uh, qualified people can be doctors engineers and those who can serve the uh, nation in a better way and they can handle the responsibilities similarly athletes those who are representing the country with that uh, sporting excellence they can make the presence felt of this country uh, very well so this is uh, uh, <clears throat> we are having 60 to 65 crore people in this age group we should make the best use but when people from other countries are keeping an eye on the uh, um, indian uh, demographic dividend to be a very very qualified task force why we cannot convert this task force into a task force of olympians and uh, world cup world beaters so these uh, uh, are the things where india can take the advantage we should go ahead so uh, uh, th th this uh, uh, compels us to optimize and utilize the youthful energy to be uh, channelized into constructive direction to intro uh, for this for this success and survival we need public private partnership now all sports are being funded by government of india but it cannot because it will continue to become more expensive more uh, enduring so for that we need lot of uh, resources money energy time 
so this uh, this should this should be a combined effort so uh, four, four and five subjects have been identified to be a scientific sport that includes sports physiology that deals with your scientific scientific study of your uh, body then sports psychology that prepares uh, athletes psychologically to be having a uh, will to fight and will to win so the other one is a physiotherapy physiotherapy deals with the uh, athletes recovery and injury rehabilitation then fourth is biomechanics sports biomechanics that uh, gives us a clear picture of uh, good and effective techniques and strategies the last one which we have taken uh, sports uh, pro, uh, scientific approach uh, uh, can have lot of things sports but the uh, nutrition to keep our immune system high to keep your energy level high we need a balanced uh, diet for that uh, and khelo india uh, scheme is taking care of and i have identified uh, through swot analysis what we need to be careful while implementing khelo india scheme that is a swot strength what is the strength of this system weakness we should identify weakness either from uh, within the system for or from the outside then opportunity opportunity where we can participate where we can project this khelo india game can project its athletes in world university games which are not less than olympics for test for testing and trying trying testing and trying our own training system and our talent whether we can achieve the target or not the uh, um, fourth one is a threat what threat this uh, um, scheme has it may reduce funding because keeping in mind the covid crisis government of india may not be able to fund it properly but we should find part uh, part bv sporter as a corporate sector we should bring it in here this is one threat i am visualizing government of india may not be able to fund few, uh, uh, profusely as it is funding being funded now but keeping in mind our resource crunch due to covid cr- crisis we should uh, keep our player be ready on the bench to support this uh, scheme then if we continue to work sport, uh, sporting uh, uh, excellence is a long term development plan and a leading light at the end of the tunnel and coaches are con- con- coaches uh, trainers sports scientists are considered to be men of wisdom because they have lot of experience they should transfer this uh, experience to the generation of new athletes athletes are considered to be men of action actors and they can be call, you can call them karma yogis then our plan should be blended so education when blended education means scientific approach professional approach this is our education which we receive from our if we blend it with our experience it becomes excellent excellent achievement so with these things i uh, expect that government of india uh, is fired with the ambition to promote sports and they are chasing their mission so that uh, our vision of making india a sporting nation is realized so this can be done with the csr <clears throat> corporate social responsibility under uh, we should give them the government of india should give them more tax rebate and that money should be utilized on sports promotion i can uh, uh, i can see that uh, there is a uh, bright light at the end, end of the tunnel ultimately sports produces a true sportsman if we go through the a true sportsman who is he 
who is shrewd enough to admit his mistakes and smart enough to profit from them and strong enough to convert them into a common cause so i hope those who have played sports they will be true sportsmen and their education their experience can be utilized and optimized for the welfare of uh, sport, uh, sporting and olympic movement in india there is a long way to go destination is far away we are saying that uh, india has all the potential all the resources but uh, all the money what is required but need is to streamline and strengthen the system which is governing all these and winning gold medal is not difficult enough but uh, how to prepare for winning a gold medal is difficult because it requires which i told uh, uh, making a movie we need a producer actor shahrukh khan then uh, we need director then spectators public appeal if there is a public appeal by participation in active healthy and productive lifestyle a healthy india can produce top sportsmen and an active india can produce very very agile fit people fit people always a visibility and unfit, unfit people are a liability you have seen what a big liability we have faced during the pandemic crisis and it has tested our immune system we are not having immune system uh, we, we need to improve it more because so when you are having active healthy fit india then it is easier to produce olympic champions world beaters so need is to design develop and deliver with these uh, words i am grateful to the university authorities uh, including vice chancellor registrar professor subramaniam you people those who are coordinating working hard and we work hardly you are working hard so this is the difference between you and me so thank you very much if anything you can make my study this is based on my experiences and my education uh, i consulted people more less books so this is all together your education your experience and trying to make it excellent and please thank you very much